Hey, hello everyone. My name is Vidyar Krishnan. In this video, I'm going to show you simple base 64 encoding decoding using Java programming language. So right. So I have got you know my IntelliJ IDE with me. So the new project is created. So let me actually add a new new class. Example, right? So since we're going to perform what base 64 encoding and decoding encode, which takes string as an argument. The written type of this method is a string, and then one method is to be publicly available. One to be this method is static. So, right, so this is going to take a string and going to encode the string and going to return the encode of string. So, that's nine type of this method. Right, so let me take the string. So, I'm going to do what? So, encoding, right? So, I'm going to do the basic in A64 encoding in Java. So, we have a class in Java that is in package, A64 dot encoder so I'm going to encoder reference equal to so to get an instance for this encoder we have to call v64 dot get encoder so if you call this encoder method get encoder method you will probably get what you know the instance for this uh, encoder right so now I got an encoder instance now so let me encode this right so encode dot Call what you know this method encode which takes byte as an argument. So call this. Since we have a string, we have to convert this string into what in a byte array. Then we have to pass the same byte array to what in a this encode method. So after do that, str dot get bytes. So if you call what you know this get bytes method, this will return a string to what in a bytes. So now we actually what you know pass the array to what in the encode method, and this is going to return what you know the byte array. So I'm going to call this is actually what you know encoder right byte array. So now I'm going to convert this encoder byte array to what you know string. So now return new string. So the string actually has a constructor which takes what you know byte array as an argument. So I'm going to pass this byte array to convert this byte array back to what you know string so that we can return to what you know. So anyone who ever actually what you know call this method by passing this string, right? So now we written this logic, right? So what this method exactly going to do? So we taking the string from the user, we got the instance for the encoder, we passing the a string as a byte array. So now we got what in encoder array, and we are converting back the encoder array to what in string, right? So now let's perform what in this decode operation. So how to do that? So decode. I'm going to create the method called decode. So, which is again taking what in a string as an argument, right? I want this method to return string, so which is going to decode and return back what you know the original string, so public stand, so that you know this method can be called, right? I want you know, this method to be public, method, right? So now let me actually work in a create a decoder. So to do that, d64 dot decode decoder. So I'm creating the decoder reference. So to get the instance for this decoder, so I have to call it okay, get decoder, right? So now we got what you know the decoder reference. Now we have to convert this encoder string to what you know decoder string. How to do that? So now decoder dot decode. So that takes what you know string as an argument. So we can pass it as it is, right? So but that's cut that's written, you know, byte array as an argument. So now we have to take what you know byte array. I'm going to call this byte array as what you know, decoder. Right? Now let me convert written new string of the decoder string. Right? So now what this method is trying to do, we are passing what you know, the encoder string. Now we got the decoder object. So with the decoder object, we are decoding by passing what you know, the string. Now that's written for you know. The byte array, we are converting the byte array back to string. Now let's realize this. Okay, so we we done what in the encode and decode method. So now let's call this method to realize what you know what exactly that's given to us. So then we have a main method in it, probably starting y in it. Right? So I'm gonna have one string, the original string of g in a string equal to Dinesh Krishnan, right? So I'm going to call this out. I'm going to say encode 
I'm going to pass what you know this. So let me actually what you know, pass it into the variable so that we can pass into what you know the decode method. So I'm going to call this is actually what encoder str. So encode dot. I'm going to pass what you know the string. Right now I'm going to pass to what you know decode operation. So decoder str equal string. So decode the method. So this is this is going to be what you know decode. Right. So let me print this value. I'm going to say what you know, encoded string plus encoded string on system dot 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 print. Then decoded string equal to decoded string. Let me run this program and see what's going to happen. Here we go. So we have already the original string that is Dinesh Krishnan that is actually got encoded. The same encoded string actually passed to what you know decoded method. So that is actually decoded and then given us what you know the original string. Thanks for watching.